Hi, everybody. This is Vince Gilligan, executive producer of Breaking Bad. And I'm Anna Gunn. I'm coming from New Mexico. Uh, this is Bob Odenkirk. Hi, uh, this is Aaron Paul. Hi, this is Jonathan Banks. All right, how you guys doing today? Swell. Very good. 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 What about the viewers? Oh, how are they? How are you guys? Shout how are you it guys out. Doing? Oh, not so well. You're sick, huh? Well, this is a perfect way to spend the day. <laughs> yeah, for the shut-ins out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the empty White House. Yes. Oh, the empty, uh, empty White House. Well, that's the end of the show then. <laughs> and. Scene. Well, this is uh, episode 313, and the name of this episode oh. is uh, is Full Measure. Anna Gunn. And uh, there is a, a, a young and lovely Anna Gunn. Uh, pregnant this, again. She's pregnant Always again. Always pregnant. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Anna, did you enjoy wearing this uh, fake uh, prosthetic belly yet again? I, I can't tell you how much I enjoy being fake pregnant. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. It's, it's the perfect workout. <laughs> it's, like right. those, it's like those shoes with the balls on the back of the feet. But it was good because you had like a little storage uh, space for like Cheetos and stuff like that, right? That's right. You can, you can, it's like a little knapsack in the front, you see. And <laughs> it's, uh, it, Brian says it's smelly baby though because it's made out of latex and it does emit quite a, um, unpleasant odor. Didn't you attack the prosthetic belly the first go around? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd like to, yes, I'd like to clarify. When, when I was done being pregnant with baby Holly, once we delivered her into the world of the Breaking Bad show, um, I did uh, take the prosthetic belly off and swing it around above my head. And then... <laughs> you threw it on top climbed of the... Up to the I really did. And then I climbed up to the grip, to the top of the grip truck, and I put it up there <laughs> while one of our ADs looked horrified because it was expensive. <laughs> what is Anna Gunn doing? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you were there. You were witnessing Aaron Paul. Mm, that was exciting. Look at Brian. Yeah, look at that hair. Yeah, I think it looks I, good. <laughs> yeah. Forget, I know, I do too. forget Brian. Look at you. I you know. look mighty fine. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Thank you. My fabulous extensions. Yes. Extensions and then a little bit of color. We put a little bit of uh, red in there. I think a little, a little strawberry bit. blonde. Yeah, strawberry yeah. blonde. Yeah. Well, you look yeah. you look very fetching, as always. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah. That was fun doing a little flashback scene. And Brian's wig, I believe, cost five thousand dollars. No. Yes. Stop it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, made by a, an expert uh, oh. a wig maker. Each each hair laid uh, strand by strand. Wow. Uh, by hand uh, in would, Los Angeles. Would you like me to tell you, Vince, where that money could be better spent? Where, where is that? <laughs> I, I think it's a great wig. Yeah, I, I think it's a great. I, wig. I actually did not know it was a wig. Yeah. Am I stupid? No. I remember watching this and thinking, because I'd seen Brian with his hair grown out in the offices over the summer, and I thought, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah that's true. That's, I mean, yeah. uh, I was surprised to hear it was a wig. Good. Great. I'm glad. Good to hear. And, of course, this is 17 years ago, and unfortunately a scene coming up here is cut for time, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys now. The next scene uh, after this, uh, and still in the teaser, was uh, our young, uh, happily married couple going outside and getting into, lo and behold, a Porsche 911 convertible. Yeah, that was a really? sweet ride. Back when they had car, they had money, a little extra money. Back when Walt was a little bit flush. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That car was beautiful, wasn't it, Vince? It was a nice car. It, uh, it was a beautiful car that a local uh, Albuquerque uh, uh, owner uh, graciously rented to us. But uh, that scene had to be cut for time, unfortunately. All these episodes have to come in at exactly 47 minutes and blah, blah seconds. And, and you know, sometimes they yeah. go a little long. And uh, that was an unfortunate uh, victim of, of uh, over length. So here we are out uh, in the uh, prairie that is behind uh, Q Studios. There are certain angles, if you, if you turn the camera in certain directions, you would see the actual uh, soundstage buildings wow. that we shoot in. So the, oh. all this, this wonderful middle-of-nowhere look is achieved 
practically within walking distance of our of our sound stages on the uh, south end of Albuquerque, not far from the airport. Which are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Which are in the yeah. admittedly in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yes. They really are. <laughs> yes. But I love flying over the city sometimes and looking down and going, that's where we work. Yeah. Well, the, so, you know, the, this whole area must be like what Valencia looked like, uh, you know, 25 years ago before they built all the, the tract homes and whatnot. Up and, there. and right yeah, after yeah, the yeah, Ice yeah. Age, because the topography is totally different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Here comes uh, here comes the lovely uh, Jonathan Banks here. Uh, mm. about slowly. To, slowly, about to make his appearance. <laughs> that is some hot driving. You like uh, that, baby. Uh, <laughs> by, the, by the way, this was shot almost in absolute darkness, this shot of the car. It was uh, it was right when the sun was about to go down at the end of this day. This All this footage you're watching in this scene, this sequence, was all shot in one day. And that last shot a minute ago of the of the car pulling up was uh, was the very last thing we got because it was almost full dark right here. But our wonderful uh, cinematographer Michael Slovis, as usual, did a great job. And yeah, just and yeah, look at what Slovis does with the beginning of this thing. From it's just magnificent. Yeah, yeah. it is. I should mention I directed this yes, one. Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I sound like I'm speaking with some authority for once about what was going on in the set, because I'm usually not there. I'm usually in Burbank, California, but uh, I was actually here for all of this. So. It was I nice to have you back up. after. It was fun being back. It was the first time I directed in two years or more That's right. since the pilot. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, and I feel yep. feel like I had my ass handed to me because it was I'd never done yes. an, an up an hour of TV in eight yeah, days that's before. Great. I love Look that, that shot. shot. That's a fun shot. Mm -hmm. Our wonderful uh, a camera operator uh, Andy uh, uh, shot uh, this uh, with a steady cam, and mm. I think he fell into like a gopher hole at one point. Uh, no, seriously, his, his foot fell. Did under. he really? Yeah, oh, and no. uh, that was uh, that was uh, uh, we were afraid he had you know very easy to break an ankle or something that way. But there was stuff out there too that would just reach up and bite you. There are burrs that yeah are spiked incredibly. Yeah, it's true. Now let's just notice how good Jonathan Bakes is it, in this. Well, scene. And, and people are aware of that already. But I was going to say <laughs> it, it's amazing. How, how much taller I am than he is too. And when you notice when he stands up, I, I cut a I cut a much finer image. That's so, true. Yeah, no, no, so, Dashing, I would say. Yeah. Set down half measures. Mm, yeah. Oh, wow. Funny how words wow. are so open to yes. interpretation. I mean, it just gives me chills. Mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah, it is mesmerizing. Yeah. <laughs> well, some people would call it soporific. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer mesmerizing. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah the skies are endless in the ABQ. If you yeah, if you really if we are. panned a little left right there, you'd see Q Studios. Just a little left. Look, Jonathan, I saw you fall into a gopher hole a little bit right there. No, did no, you? you didn't. No. <laughs> okay, never I just, mind. Wow, look Sorry. at that. I didn't mean to point that out. I did it to make him look good, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, here we see uh, Giancarlo. Giancarlo Esposito. Wonderful. Was it? Hey, Jonathan. Was it? I'm sorry to interrupt, but no, no. was it freezing that day? Because what was this? Uh, January? No, not at this point. Not right at this moment. It wasn't. Yeah. We're gonna okay. we're gonna get into the freezing scene in a little while. Yes, that's true. It was. Uh, you know what it is? It's one of those days, Anna, where. You get out there and you're out there for a half hour or so, and you're thinking, "Man, this is pretty pleasant." But when you're out there uh -huh. for like 14 hours, you're like, "Oh my god, I'm freezing." So it's, yeah, it was probably in the high 40s. Ooh, like that, yeah. But uh, Giancarlo here and uh, Jeremiah Bitsui, uh, our other uh, member of our little group here, who's uh, behind the, the driver's seat there in the in the vehicle, plays Victor. That's right. He couldn't. He was angry because those two dealers of yours had just murdered an 11 I remember old. doing the first scene that we all had in the hospital with Hank. When Jean, it was the first time I'd seen Giancarlo. You know, Skyler and again, Gus were in the same place. Mm -hmm. And the way he holds his... I love his physicality that he uses. That he, The physicality of this character. Yeah. He's very still. I love that little look there from Jonathan. I would never ask you that. It's, these guys are so... 
uh, all you guys, my hat is off to all you actors. Uh, just uh, we have the best, you know, uh, we have the best uh, ensemble of actors. Of, you know, I'm biased, but I'm, you know, my honest opinion is we got the best ensemble of any of any show ever. I just, you guys are so damn good, and you guys, all of you, can do so much with a look, with a silent look. That uh, it's it's a pleasure to actually cut dialogue as a writer, uh, knowing. Uh, full well that we don't need it very often. Uh, you guys can uh, say something with a look instead of uh, uh, a bunch of words. I totally agree with you. Yeah, Thank the you, actors, man. the actors' greatest tool is a thumbs up and a wink. You can get a lot done with that. <laughs> That's Stanislavski, by the way. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. It is. If your character feels good, give a thumbs up. <laughs> if you're sad, blow your nose. It's just blow subtle, 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 moves, like subtle moves like that. Subtle moves like that. Put the dialogue aside. <laughs> if you're very, if you're elated, do a jig. Do a little dance, a little jig in place. Yeah. Okay. If the, it if shows the, shots the audience time, yeah. knows, they, That's good. they can tell. They don't need dialogue. Or maybe just jump up and kick your heels. A <laughs> jig would be too much. Uh, that's, that's, that was Fred Stanislavski, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Forget about it. Look at John Carlo. Oh, yeah, he's, man. Man. he's magnificent. Otherwise, these two guys. He's just sort of tightly coiled. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. They're gonna start a fire in the desert with their. <laughs> intensity. <laughs> they should just kiss. They should just Giancarlo is so ripped. <laughs> he is. He is. is, he? I mean, that is he true. Is so fit. That is true. He's very, very fit. He's a. He's a. Yes, he is. I, well, I think well, Banks gets, is. I think a... Banks is in much better shape. Than, <laughs> well, I mean that's <laughs> obvious. I mean, God, well, let's it's be honest. Not. I mean, there's shape and then there's shape. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are so good here. There was a big swath of dialogue again for time we had to lift out of here. Yeah. But it, you know, in hindsight, I don't really miss it. Here we are at our industrial laundry, owned by a very nice bunch of folks uh, in Albuquerque who are just very uh, uh, accommodating to us when we come shoot there. And we use a lot of a lot of these folks in the background working at the laundry, our real uh, laundry employees, just very sweet uh, folks who uh, uh, seem to enjoy uh, working with us. Of course, now we're cutting to our soundstage set, so now we're over at Q Studios on an indoor uh, soundstage built. An incredible stage. An incredible stage. Incredible oh, set, wow. absolutely. Built by uh, W. Gilpin and his crew, our wonderful construction coordinator, and his excellent bunch of, uh, of uh, builders and uh, craftsmen. And designed by uh, Mark Freeborn, our amazing production designer, and his, his guys. Uh, Mark and I, who worked together on The Lone Gunman years ago, he was our production designer on that show. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. That, uh, God, that was a fun job. I really... Enjoyed the hell out of that. Not as much as this. This is uh, the, the better job, and I'm lucky to have it. But that was a fun show. <gasps> David Costable. Yeah. I love David Costable. Yeah. He's, so, He's so great in this character. So great. Yeah. We, we tried to get him for this uh, as well, the, uh, the, the audio commentary, and, and uh, he just, unfortunately, uh, he's in New York because that's where he lives, and, and I think he very much wanted to do it. We just couldn't, we couldn't make it work. Who's this? The balloon man. That's not a nose, that's a mm. horn. You guys are so good together here. His real nose this is an a, a, a excellent little actress named uh, Kaija Bales, who's a local Albuquerque uh, resident. Who can do at the drop of a hat? You remind me of a man. What man? The man with the power, the power. Who do you do? Do what? Remind me of a man. And she got it, and she got it quickly. I just, really? I just bobbled that, but Wait, she got it because she really did. Balloons. Give me a hug. Oh, I see your mama. Don't keep her waiting. Bye, Pop Pop. Bye, baby. We just rolled film on it, and you guys were so funny. And you're right, she picked it up like a pro. It, it, immediately. It was Immediately. Now, I, I want to say something here, because in the world you've created for Mike and the one I've created, that is indeed my granddaughter. That does not mean that that has to be my, my daughter. Oh, okay. 
and where or what ever happened to my son? Yeah. Or is he still there? That's you know, ah. I, that's totally under your control. Ooh. But I. I don't believe that's my daughter if I'm given a choice. Okay. All right. So here we are out there, and this is just. <laughs> if you're given a choice. <laughs> this is bare ass bone cold. Yeah. <laughs> this is two o'clock in the morning in, in snow flurries. Yeah. And mo- balloons have a mind of their own. That's true. That's <laughs> go true. ahead. Yeah, no, no. As a director, right. no, you go ahead and tell what was well, happening here. Well, we had to get that in one take. Uh, and the fire, the fire department was out there uh, and, and giving us a little bit of fits. But uh, that was not a real uh, power line, by the way. That was yeah. all built by I, construction. I will tell you something. Those firemen wanted to wet me down with uh, fire retardant. And what I, you know, one of the things I did to get around that, yeah. those T-shirts you gave us that night, I yeah. said, here, take my T-shirt, but you ain't going to throw any of that stuff on me. And we shot the scene. Oh, man, I didn't know that. That's yeah, good. Baby. Now, here comes the magic bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, dude. <laughs> oh, Lynn and I, the production assistant, Vince, we were running in time, and Vince was going to change this a little bit. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. If you notice, the, uh, if you look real closely, that he was supposed to, you were supposed to fire that uh, two bullets into that second guy, too, but the, uh, the prop gun uh, jammed. It, it had a tendency oh. to do that that night. It jammed a lot yeah, that night. Yeah, it jammed night. a lot. And you know what I just realized? Whatever we do, all you people out there, don't say anything about the Albuquerque firemen, because those two guys could get in trouble, maybe. I don't think so, though. <laughs> I wish I'd never said that now. Shoot. <laughs> I you think, can take it back. I, I take it back. It's all yeah, a lie. I, I, I disavow anything I just said. No, it's, it's fine, because I, I talked to those gentlemen as well, and they... Uh, they they uh, they were not uh, they were definitely not bribed. They they appreciated. They the, would not the, bribe. No no they not bribe. They they definitely appreciated the T-shirt, but they uh, they yeah. they made an honest call and and I think they realized yeah, they, it was uh, about hovering about six degrees above absolute zero and it was no chance anything was going to catch on fire yeah. that night. So I think I think that was the, the what was the decision was based on. And, well, and the decision was based on that old bald fella wasn't going to let anybody <laughs> put wet this. stuff on him either. <laughs> So this is a little warehouse uh, over in a uh, industrial uh, section of uh, Albuquerque, and it was empty when we found it, uh, when our wonderful locations guys found it, and then uh, Mark Freeborn and W. Gilpin and their crews uh, turned it into a chemical warehouse. Did a great job. This whole mm. wall they uh, they put in, it was not there to shoot through. <laughs> this this is so great. <laughs> yeah. What well, this actor? This actor, uh, his name is uh, James Ning, and he James did a wonderful job he playing did. Chow. And I'm telling you, he <laughs> sat there all night, Vince. He was yeah. so cold. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how cold he was. That's, oh, that's amazing. wonderful. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh, that was that's teamwork. That was done. Uh, uh, that's didn't... teamwork. Make sure the kid. Make sure your kids that are under twelve see that. Please. <laughs> yeah. Dennis uh, Dennis Peterson, our excellent uh, special effects uh, 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 creator, uh, figured out a way to put a little tube just on the uh, far side of that uh, stunt man's head on the wall and he shot using compressed air shot a bunch of blood and he timed it perfectly with uh, Mr. Banks uh, pulling the trigger there it was very well done I love that music was just playing too that was the beat, uh, the throat singers right uh, they there are uh, there is I believe some throat singing in it, but that's uh, uh, the Beastie Boys. Oh, that was it's, awesome! Uh, oh, yeah, that cool. No, no, but there, uh, Mickey Raphael is uh, anyway great right. harp player. Right. As soon as he heard it, he said, "Oh no, those are throat singers." Yeah, there is some throat singing. I think they sa- they either sampled it in or they uh, they hired him to, to to be a part of the 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 song. Uh, but yeah, great. I love that song. It's awesome. You're what right. That sound. that is uh, throat singing. Yeah. yeah. Why are you being so mean to poor James? Because <laughs> he complained he was cold once. Too long. Yes, <laughs> and said I've had enough. <laughs> I love that. She's going to need her shoe. He comes back. Oh, this was fun. It was just fun. It's that was funny. funny. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of blood on the uh, passports there. It's amazing when you're a director that you know every. All the questions you get in any five-minute segment of any day, the question there was, how, how should the blood look in the passports? And then you sit there for 10, 15 minutes, and 
while you're trying to answer other things simultaneously and you say, well, maybe there should be blood here and maybe a thumbprint of blood there. And it's amazing all the questions. It's nothing but questions when you're directing, which is, I mean, which is great. I'm not complaining. As opposed to being the big boss in the writer's office where <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of questions everybody to... hops too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although uh, I can't, there's no one in the writer's office for me to say, give me a sandwich. <laughs> give me a sandwich yeah, now. I want a sandwich. Vince, how uh, technically, I mean, you, you do a lot of technical work on stuff like cooking meth, right? Yeah. So if you were to build this lab, everything has a purpose, right? Yes. Good question, Bob. Uh, the uh, Mark Freeborn, our, our production designer, uh, did a great deal of research, and we've also had help over the seasons from uh, uh, a wonderful uh, DEA chemist uh, based out of Dallas, who is uh, uh, just an expert chemist and and who uh, works, you know, at the DEA, helping to fight crime and he he and the DEA in general have been wonderfully helpful to us uh, and also uh, there's a chemist uh, named Dr. Donna uh, Dr. Donna Nelson in Oklahoma who's also very helpful to us with our chemistry uh, questions and so short answer yeah everything in here has a purpose and you probably could cook meth in this place uh, which I keep thinking would be a good way to defray some of our production costs but uh, you know <laughs> Has anybody... Uh, I, keep, I keep getting overruled. <laughs> I, I Has just, there ever been a lab? Do you know if there's ever been a lab that's uh, very professional making... Apparently in Mexico, Mexican uh, super labs, uh, perhaps yeah. some other countries, uh, South, uh, Central America, South America. Seriously. I just... However you like things... I don't know that there's any lab this big currently operating in the U.S. Uh, the right. DEA uh, has done a good job of... Yeah, I'm no expert on all this law enforcement stuff, but I, 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 my understanding is they've done a real good job of, of breaking up uh, the major labs uh, that used to exist here uh, north of the border. But uh, unfortunately, a law of unattended consequences or whatever means that uh, a lot of the production moves south of the border. You know, it's sort of like whack-a-mole. You whack the mole here and it pops up there kind yeah. of thing. So but here we are in uh, uh, Gale. It's not NAFTA that caused that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it, was, maybe it was NAFTA. It might have been NAFTA. Uh, this is uh, this is everybody's favorite oh, scene. Yeah. I, I love. Uh, oh, he he worked so hard on this song. Yeah, he did. He did indeed. And he has a beautiful voice. And we did not know that. I did not know that when we hired David. Uh, and it didn't really matter story wise that he'd be a good singer. He could just as well have sung this badly. But but he really has a nice voice. Which you'll see again uh, coming up in season four. A little, yeah. little teaser there. Uh, but this is a song called uh, Crapa Pelada uh, by, uh, what's the name of the band? Oh, I love this. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's so great. It's, uh, it's either Milanese or, uh, I'm probably going to screw this up, but it's an Italian uh, group from, I believe, the 40s. And they're apparently singing about making an omelet. Is, uh, of course my, they are. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I mean, it's bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> it's a great song. I love that song. Uh, Thomas Golubich, our, our wonderful uh, music supervisor, found that for us. This is, uh, I should have called first. Uh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. Uh, no, no, not at all. Please, come in. I love these two guys together. Uh, can I offer you something? A creme de mint? Oh, no. <laughs> the creme de mint line. I wish I had made that. That was, that was David. David came to me and he said, you know, uh, you say, it says here in the script, uh, can I offer you something? And, and, and I wanted to add to that, David said. David said, Vince, is okay if I say, I don't know, coffee, uh, creme de mint? And I thought that was a great addition. Creme de, yeah. creme de mint. <laughs> of course, of course, he would offer creme de mint. What is a creme de mint? It's a it's a liqueur. It's like a creamy sort of like Bailey's or something, except mm. except mint, minty. It's 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 uh, you make grasshoppers with it. Okay. You Teenagers and grandmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can all agree on yeah, creme yeah. de mint. Yeah. Peach schnapps, I think creme that's de mint. Their, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's the advertising line. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that commercial where the teenagers and the grandmas are get together, all clean glasses, to the <laughs> share <laughs> for good times. Here, here's the good friends. Yeah. Lucy, Goosey. He's dying of cancer. 
It oh. is why he this reaction. to provide for his family, which he's accomplished. Yeah. They will never want for anything. He's seen to that. This is a fun one. This whole episode is fun to direct, except for the part of me feeling like I had my ass handed to me. Because uh, it was, it is so hard to direct an episode in eight days. I'd never done it before. Yeah, because the, the pilot was fifteen. Pilot days. was uh, sixteen. Or ultimately. sixteen days. Fifteen and a half, sixteen, something like that. Yeah. And uh, double the amount of time that that all of our directors get for every subsequent episode after the pilot. And of course, this was the first time I myself. And I'd be, I'd be calling up saying, "Why didn't you get this? Why didn't you get that?" Damn it, you know, with the, to the other directors. Don't whine, Vince. <laughs> and God then, help us. <laughs> and then, and now I, I see uh, how very hard it is. Uh, that uh, I don't usually do that, but sometimes I'm thinking <laughs> it. But now, but now, I, and now I realize that Jesus Christ, it's amazing. I, I, I'm stunned that you can shoot these in eight days. Yeah. yeah. I, when I watch them, I'm always thinking. Yeah. How, when did they have time to shoot that? Yeah. I, I mm -hmm. mean, yeah. you look at the scene and all the dialogue, and you're going to want to get a couple angles on all this, and, and yeah. then you see there's extra. Yeah. There's just more. And uh, how, do you, uh, how do the directors plan that stuff out? I mean, how much of that is done on the set? It's, it's, it's as much as possible planned in advance. Uh, prior planning prevents poor performance, is the old saying I remember but, from Boy Scouts. Or in a lot of ways, I also... Notice and lo appreciate all the the choices, the angles. You know, look at this angle. I yeah. mean, you wouldn't see mm -hmm. this in a lot of well, shows. This is a it, little bit off. We're, we're able to do it solely because Michael Slovis yeah. and his crew are able to move so fast and do such a great job. It's I, I give all the credit to them. And, and Michael is the only one that is there all the time. That's true. To yeah. see the look. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. Right. Oh, I should say before we get out of the scene, if you look in the wide shots on the wall behind uh, Gus is a bunch of photos, and they're ostensibly photos of Gale, uh, you know, on top of a mountain and that kind of stuff. Most of the photos are actually of Doug McLaren, who is Michelle McLaren, our wonderful uh, executive producer. Her brother, Doug, is, a, is an ICM agent, and he's also been to the top of Mount Everest. And those wow. are actually photos of him on the summit of Everest, Wow, which is cool. Really? Yeah. I did not know yeah, that. That's he, amazing. He's been there. It's uh, very impressive. Yeah. I'm not sure what that stuff is they're cleaning. I know what it's supposed to be, but I don't know. I can't remember what the special effects guys used. Any particular? Now, Jeremiah, his, 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 is it uh, Dennis Banks, his uncle? It's one of the uh, American Indian activist leaders. R Russell? Is, Russell oh, Banks? Really? Yeah. Russell Banks. Is really? It Russell Banks? Yeah. Is he related to you? No. Nope. Russell Banks? <laughs> uh, nope. You're saying that actor there? Yeah, Jeremiah. Related? Yeah, he is. Do I have oh, the name right? The show's starting. The show, okay, there you go. Oh, the show's oh, probably okay. what we've started. waited time, for. Time that to, was the prelude, and now the show starts. Time to, time to come back from the bathroom. <laughs> you know, you've made your sandwich. Now come and settle in. <laughs> and let's talk about the fabulous <laughs> leg shifter. The, the chi machine. The chi machine. Is that what it is? The chi machine. Vince Gilligan absolutely <laughs> believes in it. He sold on it. Right, Vince? This is a machine that um, uh, uh, John Scheiben, who I used to work with on the X-Files, uh, gave me as a present one, one time years ago. And you, you put your feet on it, and it shakes you back and forth, and it looks dumb as hell. But you do this for like 20 minutes, and then you stand up, and you've got a head rush. It wow. kind of straightens your back out. Yeah, it kind of loosens you up down there. You know that last thing that they do when you give them a massage where they take your legs and shake them and pull them? It does that. Yeah. Does it feel good? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it is true that you kind of got to do it for a while. You start the more you do it, the more you feel it. Now, when I say, Jonathan, you're so scary here. Yeah, you're really scary here. I don't. You thank you. Do. I don't know if I want to watch this. Yeah, it doesn't have a good end. <laughs> you're really like give me a lot of credit for trying to I know. calm you down. <laughs> Get you to see logic <laughs> from the man in the craziest shirt ever. Look at that shirt and tie and the collars. Is it true you pick out your own? Your own? Is that just your actual wardrobe? You wear to? Yeah. You, you'd save us a little money. This is how you usually dress. Yes, it? yes, yes. You look good. Yeah. 
that's you make it work somehow you, you pull it all together yeah well mm -hmm. in that office you gotta don't make you gotta look oh sharp. my god that office the, is fantastic Look what Michael Slovis did there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. By, by the way, uh, uh, for those watching extraordinarily closely, this set has never had a ceiling before this episode. And W. Gilpin and his guys very uh, nicely put in a ceiling for me because I wanted these real low angles uh, looking up at uh, Mr. Banks here. Uh, and so this, this uh, you know, there was never a ceiling on this set before. Uh, and they did a great job putting it in on a very, very quick turnaround. Scratch piece of paper somewhere. Who's to say I didn't write down a location strictly for my own professional use? Do not touch anything on my desk. I'm gonna leave the room, uh, make myself a Nescafe. That's my handwriting, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's the closest I've come to appearing uh, on camera on the show. <laughs> lawyer up. Hey, lawyer up. <laughs> that was a fun shot to get. Great <laughs> license plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They can start watching again, Bob. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here you are again. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm catching up. <laughs> so my character's a lawyer? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real. Uh, it is not closed down in real life. You can go, and I would, I would, uh, I would suggest uh, you go uh, to this place. It's a laser tag place. In yeah, if you're in Albuquerque, <laughs> head right for this. It's <laughs> With your cream de mint, your say, cream de mint, and your teenagers your and your grandmas. Did they say, though, because of the for lease sign, they wanted a little extra. No, they were very, they were very sweet. They're very good folks, uh, uh, and they really, it really is a very nice place. And they got a lot of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. And, and they didn't there. take any bribes. The kids, you got to bring them over there. <laughs> Look at the snow on the mountains. Yeah, yeah, it was snowing a little bit that day. Yeah. I think this Just, is where it. Look at this. this is all the those machines all work. To get really yeah. exciting. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. if you go to the real place, uh, they'll probably take the uh, plastic off for you and let you yeah. play something. Yeah. Actually, obviously, the plastic is not there. You know, every time um, they uh, we would start to shoot again, they'd turn these lights back on on all the machines, and they would spit out like one or two tickets. That's right. right. That's right. And so by the end of the day, the entire floor was just like littered with tickets. That's right. Re we really shouldn't talk over this performance. It's you can. I'm loud enough. <laughs> I'm shouting over no, you. Look at look at how you, of, Bob did an ex Bob. You as always. This is uh, you do, this is an excellent. Uh, wow. it, it was I, great. It was great seeing uh, 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 Saul actually get real serious here for a minute. I he, think it's the first time Saul's scared. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely like, true. He, his whole thing is everything is arm's length from him. He's just on. You can't connect the dots to him. Nobody can. And and now he. It's connected to him. But yes. finally, like, and, you know, finally, um, Jesse's on the show. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> welcome uh, welcome to the, the party here. The, the, <laughs> Emmy, right. the Emmy Award winning. Yes, and well-deserved, too. Oh, yes, I love you guys. Mm. Dude, that's so great. But excellent job, uh, Bob. Oh, uh, thank you, man. Really, Thanks. Hey, actually, you were scared one other time when, yeah, we, when the, we first um, met you. The, yeah, when we first met. Right. And well, that, yes, that yes, scene, yes, yes. though, was so brilliant, and you had to learn Spanish. Well, I had to phonetically. <laughs> I, had phonetically learn, I had to learn <laughs> some syllables. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were, you were great. <laughs> but uh, thanks, man. That yeah. was uh, the, so much fun, that scene. And this one, too. You scared of someone. And then you guys are amazing here. Oh, yeah. Getting very, very serious. Yeah, you're not in this episode a whole lot, Aaron, but uh, you, you, you make it count when you're on screen here, definitely. Look, as, at, those. As Look at those lights. It's awesome. I know the lights are just that's the that was uh, so much of that was practical. That was the actual. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember. It was? Yeah, it was. The, it's the actual lights you're seeing in the background. It's uh, so much of uh, Michael Slovis's uh, brilliance is that he knows when to let the actual practical stuff going on around him uh, uh, do do the work for him. And Steve mm -hmm. Latecki. All the shit you could tell him. Federal witness protection, that's a good deal. As for me, I'll, I'll hit the road, you know, I mean, I'll make it. 
Steve, uh, Steve, who's uh, Michael's right hand man with the lighting. Uh, Steve and uh, Michael uh, just really. They're just uh, they pull it off. They 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 never overdo anything. They just uh, they they know exactly. They're old pros, both of them. They know well, what to do. Well, and Steve and is so silent on that set yeah. as he walks yeah. around. It's amazing, and this so is an you amazing will, scene. I, you only I had, wish everyone would shut up. <laughs> okay, well then I'll definitely talk if that's your. Way. <laughs> You had your eight days. You pleased with your episode? Yes, I'm very pleased with it. I uh, think I could have done a better job, but I uh, uh, I love what everybody, you know, everybody pulled me through it. Do it, Mr. White. The very first scene, the very first day of shooting this episode was a scene uh, that is not even in the episode. But it's a scene with uh, uh, Anna and uh, RJ and, yeah. and uh, Brian, and unfortunately I had to go as well for time. But I, that first morning of that first day doing this episode, I was the first hour or two. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've literally. Well, it was also. Yeah, go ahead. It was also because the baby was. Uh, you had to deal with the baby, and and uh, the baby was unhappy that day. She was supposed to be. Cr- she was supposed to be sleeping, wasn't she? Oh, that, was, that. Yeah. Well, that actually that scene is still. I don't know if we had the baby. Do we have the baby in the? Fr- there was the deleted scene where you guys were talking about how Dad used to have a Porsche. Mm-hmm. Remember that scene? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That scene is deleted, and it's. Uh, but I, the first two hours or so, I was just like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is not like riding a bicycle. I've forgotten everything, every little thing, <laughs> which I I knew so little to begin with. I've forgotten everything I knew about directing. But you guys uh, pulled me through it. Wow. And uh, so I am very, uh, Jonathan, yes, I'm very proud of this episode. I I mean, look at the performances you got out of of all of us. You guys just, you do your thing. I just, you know, I'm like, uh, maybe stand here, you think? And you guys are like, okay. And then (laughs) you just do it. No. I I go have a sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) That someone made for you. There is, yeah, there is something to be said for not getting in the way of, uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So there is an, also another old saying about uh, proper casting is like 90% of it. And once you do that, yeah. you know, a lot of your job as a director is over. So I'm so glad that you haven't killed Jesse yet. Well, not until the first episode of season four. Right, right. right. Yeah. Well, don't get it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty good run, though, you got to admit. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> This uh, this is of course how the show opened. Uh, we do the same uh, long, slow, uh, uh, 360 or 270 degree pan here, and Andy, our great camera operator, did a wonderful job with this. It's harder than you would think this. turning a camera very slowly and steadily by hand. It's kind of harder than you'd expect. Yeah, this is the one, Anna, the, with the baby. Yeah, uh, I think right. this is yeah. so great with the glasses. It grabs the. Grabs the glasses. I, I kept telling that little bastard, grab the glasses. He wouldn't. He wouldn't get it right. <laughs> Look until, at it, finally. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> nah, that's a ter- oh. terrible joke. Such a sweet little baby, and and we have such so nice gentle. little babies uh, on our show. Isn't Look that wonderful? This. I love this. Isn't that great? So I love. Great. So great. Who does the music? Uh, Dave Porter, uh, and this is a, one of his cues. Uh, he's, he's a just Man, wonderful he is composer. Incredible. Wonderful composer. That little baby was so cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a great scene. That was a great moment. How'd you get that to happen twice? <laughs> up in the no, that was, thank God, we were running uh, two, two cameras, cameras because two the baby only did it once. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and uh, obviously it was a, I'd love to take credit for it, but it was a complete fluke. And, and uh, lucky to have it. We have lots of babies because I think they're, actual time that they can be on set is what is it 12 minutes or something it's very short so you will see if you're visiting our set on a day we're having the baby and you'll see actually four or five babies sometimes and we'll swap them out uh from one one take to the next sometimes and luckily uh no one seems to notice uh but they we've had many many we've never had i don't know that we've ever had the same baby twice I wonder when that 12-minute rule took effect, because it wasn't that long ago that it was not good, the amount of hours that... 
Yeah. 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 A child's been on a set. It, it is a good rule, obviously. It's a and great it's, rule. It's a great rule, yeah. And everyone, I mean, you should see the effect the babies have on this. It's really sweet. Everyone gets, oh, when she brought in. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and no, there's no bell ringing. We go into baby stealth mode. Yeah, baby stealth mode. <laughs> That's right. We got a problem. Some kind of chemical leaking in your lab. You gotta come with me. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll follow you. They tell me to bring you. I bring you. Come on, get in the car. God, it was cold this night. Jonathan, you're lucky you weren't here this night. <laughs> I Vince, I was at two o'clock in the morning. It was snowing with the balloons. No, no, How I much mean, colder you could it like, have been? You don't like cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> here we are at the laundry again. Well, that's another great shot. Jeremiah did a nice, a nice job with this. And 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 again, Dave Porter music playing here. Yeah. Dave Porter score. A uh, wonderful score. You just feel the feel the tension. Yes, it's amazing how much music adds. It's it's incalculable how much uh, music adds to uh, a movie or a, uh, it's a yeah. TV show. It's so many elements come into play. Yes, of course. Now that. that's that's the actual sound, I believe, of the machine here. And there's Mr. Banks. I love this scene coming up here. You guys did such a great job with this. I don't know if it's a barrel leak or what, but you got something mighty stinky down there. What were you thinking uh, this night, uh, Jonathan? Did he look taller than me? <laughs> <laughs> no. What was I thinking this night? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This machine, by the way, we did not build this thing to tilt. Uh, anyone who's ever been to one of these industrial laundries knows that they, the load inside this thing, the maximum load inside this washing machine, and that's what this is. It's like a washing machine in your house, except like a million times bigger. And the load is 500 pounds that, wow. it'll, that it'll take. And therefore, the machine has to tilt on hydraulics so that the, the operator can actually pull the wet 500 pounds of laundry out into a cart. Shut up. So we uh, we just use what was there, and we pretend there's stairs below it, but there's actually nothing below it. There's no stairs or anything underneath this thing. But that is, you know, Im- imagination-wise, that's the entrance to our uh, super lab. You know, when you said, what are you thinking? I, I do know that Mike, in this case... He's, he's in town, all right? I am sorry that I'm going to kill him. Absolutely. You can tell that. You can tell it in your performance, in your face. It's uh, you. You did such a great You're job. Just taking there. orders, and, and Brian obviously did a fantastic job as always. Mm-hmm. Just you, both you guys together. Give me an address. I, I don't know. He's, he moves. He moves around. But if if you let me call him, I... no, no, please. No, I just. I love that. And I love that moment. That's a good cut too. Just my phone. I'll call him, and I'll have him meet me. This episode was edited by uh, two editors, uh, Skip McDonald and Kelly Dixon. Our, our two our two wonderful editors. They they split. The, uh, the their duties on this one split them in half, and they both did as always a wonderful job. And you know, this uh, people listening to this, the sophistication. Even if you're listening to the commentaries on these, you know that the number of people it takes to make this good, yeah, is overwhelming. And names haven't been mentioned. Yes, yeah. that is true. There's uh, so many names that uh, we don't have time to mention who are just wonderful. I mean, the, this show is a group effort. Any show you've ever seen, any movie you've ever seen is a group effort, and this is no different. And, and it could not be done without all the uh, amazing uh, talent of all the um, many, many, many folks at, uh, in, in front of and behind the camera in pre-production and production and in post-production. Yeah. It was a big oh, deal it's... keeping the light on on this thing, wasn't it? You remember that? Yeah, uh, the uh, the spaceship. No, no, actually, not the spaceship. Your your cell phone. Oh. It, the, the, our oh, prop, right. prop guy had a hard time making sure the light stayed on. You know, little details oh, like yeah. that. It's weird. I, I love how when when uh, Brian makes his turn here and stops being a, a weenie, and uh, yeah, uh, gets tough here. It gets Heisenberg. Yeah. Mm. And this little head. And I love your reaction coming up here, Jonathan. And and Jeremiah's too. 
Juan Tobo, apartment six. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. And I, I love this I, shot. I love, I, love, I love this shot. I love this reaction. Yeah, yeah. No. The, the, remember the salt or something? What did we put underneath the phone? Oh, yeah, the yeah. Thanks for To my, make the, it yeah. move like that? This is one of those things. Spend 10 minutes trying to get it to move instead uh, of just vibrate in place. I love, I love how he uses What's he a, using that? He's thing? using a laser uh, thermometer. To check how, uh, to, how yeah, the water is. Because it's got to oh, be the perfect temperature. Perfect. Great. <laughs> I just can't believe laser thermometers actually exist. Oh, I have a couple of them. They're awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. I use them on my children. Do you? <laughs> so you don't have to touch them? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I just use them on random still, people Mama's on the street. Mama's going to take your temperature. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, oh. Um, take whatever you want. I have, I have money. I, have, I, I, I got a lot of money. We can't uh, speak about uh, what comes next after this because I don't think uh, season four will have aired yet. Aaron, good so, work. Who knows so. what look happens at, Yeah, Aaron, Anything look at happen. your eyes. Anything could happen. Look at your face. Hmm. Yeah, he just does not want dream. to do it. Yeah. Not sure that might be a dream sequence here. Oh, Aaron, so good. I know. Yeah. Both both these uh, and oh David, God. both of you guys are just 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 drilling it here. Just <sighs> bang. And you really shot a blank right into the lens there, right? Yeah. Into the, yeah. 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 Excellent job, uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Thank you, folks. <laughs> <laughs>